Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotouch.com. Today we're going to be doing a little more advanced graphic designing. And I like to call this effect the shoe paint effect. Now as you can see I have a little folder made right here on my desktop with all the stuff that you need to make this effect. But before I show you guys everything that you need, let me show you guys what the final effect is going to look like. So after watching this tutorial you should end up with a design that looks something like this. I took the pink droppings and I pretty much made them merge into the shoe and it looks like the pink droppings are slowly making the shoe. Now the effect is really cool but it will take some time and some practice to make. So to make things easier for you guys I made that folder with everything that you need. And you can download that folder, the link to the folder will be in the video description and once you have it downloaded you should have a couple things. You should have a shoe PSD file. Um, you could use any shoe that you want, but I included the PSD file of this shoe because I already have it cut out and everything for you guys, so you could use that if you want. I got this shoe from suprafootwear.com. Next, you need some paint tossings, and these paint tossings are brought to you by mediamalitia.com. If you head into that folder, you'll see there are about 20 paint tossings, and you could use this for your shoe. And then we also have a twinkle image right here. I'm also using that in the shoe. We have a final JPEG image so you guys could show it off and then a final PSD so you guys could open it up and see exactly what I did. Now that's all you need to get this started and to make this effect. Now with all that being said, download it and once you have completed that download, open the shoe and let's get started. When I first got the image of the shoe, it was on a white background, exactly like this, and I needed to cut it out. So the first thing that I did is I selected the magnetic lasso tool and I cut it out and I got something that looks like this. After cutting it out, I noticed that the shoe had lines in the gray area. And obviously, paint doesn't just form lines automatically on its own. So what I needed to do is I needed to get rid of those lines so it looks more believable because it's a solid color. So I selected the clone stamp tool and I got rid of those lines and I got something that looks like this. After getting rid of the lines, what I did is I selected the pen tool and I pretty much just went around the gray area and selected that and boosted its brightness to get a lighter gray, which looks like this. And then after I pretty much boosted the brightness overall um, of the shoe to make it shine a little more, and I got this. And then I added a shadow to it. And if I put that on a black background, you can see that shadow right there. So that's it for the shoe. Now once you have the shoe cut out, let's take this shoe and drag it into a new image and let's get started on the actual effect.